We do have breaking news now in the trial of accused New York City bomber Ahmed Khan Rahimi. The jury has found Rahimi guilty of planting pressure cooker bombs in Manhattan and New Jersey in September 2016. All let's right, let's bring in Pete Williams. Pete, we remember that night all too well right here in Chelsea, that pressure cooker bomb uh, in a suitcase just, you know, in our neighborhood. Yes, and one of the devices went off uh, in a dumpster and it injured 30 people. The other one that was found in the suitcase, you re recall the strange video of people taking it out, not knowing what it was, and then stealing the suitcase. That one didn't go off. He also planted bombs in Elizabeth, New Jersey, during, during a, uh, near a train station, and another in a trash receptacle near the start of a Marine Corps marathon race. Well, the jury has convicted him on all eight counts. That means he'll probably face a mandatory sentence of life in prison. So this was an ISIS-inspired plot. You may remember that after he was arrested, uh, prosecutors found his, said that his DNA and fingerprints were found on one of the devices that didn't go off in New York. And that after he was found in, and after a shootout, when he was found in the doorway of a bar, a notebook was found that he was carrying in which he uh, expressed his thoughts of, of why he wanted to carry out this attack. So uh, the judge will schedule sentencing for later, but it's a victory for the government. It was a long time coming to trial because Rahimi was injured in a shootout and spent uh, several weeks in a hospital before he was uh, physically able to go into court and have the trial start. Now, his defense lawyers had said at one point, Stephanie and Ali, that he should get a break because the second bomb in New York didn't go off, and they, they tried to argue to the jury that... And he, he put it in place, but decided to, not to fully arm it. But the government said that wasn't the case, that he wanted both his devices to go off and that he should be convicted on all eight counts. And now the jury has agreed. He's trying to make the argument he, full, he didn't fully arm it. I'm sorry, sir. The yeah. bomb just didn't go off. Right. <laughs> That's apparently the way the jury saw it, too. Hey there, I'm Chris Hayes from MSNBC. Thanks for watching MSNBC on YouTube. If you want to keep up to date with the videos we're putting out, you can click subscribe just below me or click over on this list to see lots of other great videos.